I got picked up with the uh, Cleveland Browns, uh, went through camp, got cut. Uh, I had an opportunity to play in Canada. You know, in uh, Canada, they can only keep uh, 10 Americans per team. So, you know, I fell victim to a numbers game. Uh, moved to Colorado, played a year of arena ball, and then pretty much just said, if it's not football, if it's not the NFL, then uh, I don't want to play. So I came back to Alabama. I uh, worked various jobs. Um, you know, uh, I cleaned factories. I was a janitor. I cleaned apartments. Uh, worked for the Army. Worked for Coca-Cola. Uh, worked for a car auction company. And then, uh, you know, and you know, while I was doing all that, I was fighting as an amateur. I uh, went pro, uh, I believe, in August of 2015. Uh, met my wife shortly, shortly thereafter, and uh, you know, she pretty much, uh, you know, walked me to the edge of the cliff, put her foot on my back, and kicked me off, and pretty much just said, you know, um, you know, you're not getting any younger. You, you know, this is what you do. I see how hard you work. I see how hard you train. I can tell you really want it. So, you know. Why don't you just go work at the gym, make what money you can, and, and just train all day and sell out to, to fight it. And uh, that's what I did. And, uh, you know, two years later, three years later, you know, I'm sitting at 10 and 1, uh, three fights uh, in the UFC. One is a main event, and uh, getting ready for my fourth fight in August.